Let's take a look at some of the things um, on tape that we have. So this is Emerson going against Donovan Peoples-Jones, man-to-man coverage. Uh, what do you see here with this? Well, a couple of things, you know, a couple of things I uh, filmed on Emerson is that these all these defensive backs they have great carryover from their drill work to one on ones and and seven on sevens and team. Uh, what I like here is that he is in great position here. Uh, he focuses on the hip uh, of Don Peoples Jones. Uh, he breaks down uh, and then he uses that length uh, to get the ball out late. So again, he has great feet, great change of direction, great lateral movement. Um, he runs very well. He, like I said, he's long, 6'2". And, and what I like here is that he, he finishes the play. So he, he moves his feet quick, he turns that hip, and he runs, and then he, and he finishes by getting the ball out. So just a really good rep here. Yeah, and, and you know, the, the qualities that you're pointing out are qualities uh, usually of elite cornerbacks in terms of the hips and the, and the feet finishing plays. Um, Let's take a look at this. This is another one, uh, kind of those hips that we're talking about, another drill, a an end-of-catch drill um, with the hips. What do you see here? What are they working on? So the, the previous drill, this is a great example of what they were working on for the previous drill. They're working on opening those hips. The guy's going to push and open them up vertical. So he's going to just work on opening those hips and running, uh, simulating that guy running the vertical uh, a route on him. Uh, and then at the end of the thing, they always – they're such a – such attention to detail at the NFL level, then they're going to work on receiver goes with his hands, you go with your hands as a DB. So just a drill to open up those hips, run, and then finish the drill by knocking the ball out and going, you know, old rule is you go when the receiver goes. Everybody talks about hips with, uh, with cornerbacks. Why is that so important? What does it mean um, to a coach if the hips are, are fluid and, and quick? Well, you know, I think the big thing is the ability to change direction, the ability to cover double moves, uh, open up when uh, corner uh, when receivers are pushing you uh, vertical, uh, you know, then the stop routes and the ability to turn and run, uh, not only have your hips be open, but that, you know, the hip mobility, the ability to explode, the ability to stop and start really, really fast, uh, you know, change direction. I think, I think if I had to put one thing on it, it would be to change the direction, the ability to uh, recognize what the receivers run, open up those hips, and, and then get to full speed in, in less than a step or so. So it's basically the reaction to what the receiver is doing is why it's critical. Um, you, you mentioned double moves. Here's another um, look at uh, some some clips from uh, Emerson recovering on a double move. And again, that's the hips are the reason why, correct? Correct. I really uh, I got a good vantage point here I, uh, during his Skelly one-on-ones during camp, and it was really impressive to see. So first thing he does is he works on not backpedaling because they're in the red zone. So he just kind of works a hop step, so he's not giving away an easy throw, uh, which you see so many times in the NFL at all levels of football, where that DP down in the red zone is going to backpedal. There's no reason to backpedal. you got the uh, back line as your uh, another defender. Then the guy makes a really good move. Badly former with the Browns makes a good move, and there's no panic in Martin Emerson. He doesn't panic. He changes direction, puts that right foot on the ground, and it turns. And then what I really like is that he runs to the hip. He does not look right away. He runs to the hip, and then you'll see him look right as the receiver looks. So it was just a really good recovery, change of direction. And, you know, again, one of the things DPs will do is they will look too early. He ran to the hip, closed down the receiver, and looked late, which is uh, really a veteran move, really well done by him. Yeah, and um, you saw the head turn around almost right when the ball was, was coming in, so the timing on it was really good. Um, the other thing that we're going to take a look at, a couple of things from when he was in college, and um, they, these are pretty impressive. So this is from a game against Kentucky, and he is the guy coming up the sidelines there to <laughs> deliver a very big hit, and that's the way you want your cornerbacks closing on a wide receiver in space. Well, yeah, you know, and the thing about him is that he's he's a big guy. He's he's six foot two. He's he's a really large guy. He's long. Uh, he's not afraid of contact. So that's really really good. Uh, you know, he gets a big hit here, but he's also very good in the run game. He understands uh, you know his reads in terms of what he's looking at through the backfield, through the quarterback when he's in zone. Uh, and the big thing about these you know these college clips is he does not he's not always super technical. Well, he'll get more technical uh, at the NFL level. He will absolutely throw his body around, uh, um, which is important in terms of, of tackling on the edge. So, yeah, this is really impressive in terms of, again, with the hips, being able to put that, put that foot in the ground and get the full speed quickly and, and cover a lot of ground and then deliver a blow. 
Yeah, the other thing is he goes kind of um, inside out, so he's he's moving towards the sideline where if the receiver is going to try to get by him, he's going to step out of bounds. Um, so, uh, Wait. Yeah, you know, and like you said, that that those technique things, he played it he played it in the SEC. So he that's another impressive thing about him. He played uh, he was coached at a high level and he played against high level competition all the time. So when you say something like that, that's coaching. And obviously he was well schooled at Mississippi State because exactly right, he comes inside out, he uses that out uh, uses that sideline as another defender. So uh, let's take one look one more thing from Mississippi State this one against North Carolina State and it's open field tackle and we've seen this already from him so he beats a blocker and then makes an open field tackle on a skill position guy well the thing I like here is that if you look at the, the beginning of the clip he's going to be in like a zone read drop and the Browns run a lot of this uh, different terms for it read two or read four or palms where they're reading through the backfield, and, and, and Martin Emerson's actually reading through the number two receiver through the quarterback here. So he has a number of reads, and he takes those initial uh, shuffle steps uh, and reads through the receiver, number two receiver through the quarterback, and then again, just closes uh, his ability to change direction with that hip mobility, change direction, foot in the ground, and then just close and deliver a strike. Yeah, and again, um, NFL level, you better be able to tackle, and he certainly is not afraid to come up and use that big frame. 